All right, in this video, I'm going to tell you a little bit about parabolas from the focus and directrix, or maybe the vertex and focus, or the vertex and the directrix, either way, um, or any of those ways. Uh, what we need to understand is uh, here we have a parabola. And a parabola, there are actually three key pieces of information that we uh, can glean from it. Um, the first one is this point down here, which is called the vertex. Um, so I'm going to try to color code everything. So the vertex, um, and then there's an axis of symmetry that runs straight through the vertex. So uh, in this case, it would be the x-coordinate of the vertex. So whatever that is, is your axis of symmetry. Um, along the axis of symmetry, but kind of inside of the parabola, is something called the focus. So uh, the focus is important to the geometric definition of a parabola. And the key thing for us is that uh, the distance from the focus to the vertex, uh, we're going to call it P, uh, that's key to figuring out the equation of this parabola. Um, knowing what the value of p is, what we can do is in the complete opposite direction, so not moving toward the focus, but moving in the opposite direction along the axis of symmetry, if we meet, move the uh, same amount of distance, so if we move p again, uh, and then draw a line perpendicular to the axis of symmetry, so like that, uh, we get a line called the directrix. So every parabola actually has a focus, a vertex, and a directrix. Um, and the directrix is p units from the vertex, the vertex is p units from the focus, and that means that the focus and the directrix are um, two p units apart. So you need to know those relationships. So here we have the vertex, uh, I think that's orange. We have the focus, which I think is purple, and then uh, the directrix, which I think maybe is black. Uh, okay, so we have those things. And if we have this, the equation of this parabola will be uh, y equals 1 over 4p, the quantity x minus h squared plus k. So you might recognize that as kind of vertex form where we replaced a with 1 over 4p. So not a giant leap there to uh, move from one to the other. Uh, and the point h comma k is the vertex. So knowing the vertex is going to be important. And uh, of course, this could be uh, all upside down. So we could have the directrix. And let's say I start with the focus. So if I know the directrix and the focus, I can find the axis of symmetry by doing a line perpendicular to the directrix through the focus. And then the midpoint between them is actually going to be the vertex, because I know that this distance right here is 2p. So uh, if I move halfway between them, I have to get to the vertex, because the vertex has to be uh, p units from either of them, either the directrix or the focus. So here's our parabola. Uh, and there's your focus, there's your vertex, and there's your directrix. Now, if we have this uh, type of parabola, we're going to get y equals negative 1 over 4p, the quantity x minus h squared plus k. Uh, and what you really need to pay attention to there is uh, that negative sign. So if it opens down, if the focus and vertex are below the directrix, uh, you're going to have a negative in your equation. So uh, let's do a problem. So we want the equation of the parabola with a focus at 6, 5, and a directrix at y equals negative 1. First thing for every one of these problems that I'm going to do is I'm going to sketch what I know. So I know the focus is 6, 5, and I know the directrix is below it. It's at y equals negative 1. So I've done that. Um, knowing this, uh, I know this distance is 2p because uh, I put in the time and I remember that. So 2p in this case is going to be equal to, what you do is you subtract the y coordinate. So it's 5 minus negative 1. Uh, so that's 2p is equal to 6, so p is equal to 3. Knowing what p is and having this picture, uh, what I can do is from the point 6, 5, I can move down 3 to take me to, it's going to have the same x coordinate, so it's still 6. Um, so 6, and then if I move down 3 from 5, that takes me to 2. Um, what I also could have done is I could have started at y equals negative 1 and moved up 3, right? If you had 3 to 1, to negative 1, you get to 2, so it doesn't matter which way you go. Um, and so you can see uh, the equality there. Let's write the equation. So in general, it's 1 over 4p, quantity x minus h squared plus k. I know hk is 6, 2, and I know that p is 3, so I'm going to fill in. So I have this, and uh, just kind of simplify that. And usually you kind of leave these in vertex form. Uh, it's just a little easier to work with. Uh, let's do one more. So now I know the vertex and I know the directrix. So again, plot what you know. Um, 
I know that 36 over 5 is actually bigger than 7 because 7 is 35 over 5, which means the directrix is above the vertex, so this is going to open down. So let's plot the vertex, and then uh, I need the directrix to be above it. So I have this. And from my picture, I can figure out what P is, because this time I had the vertex, and I had the directrix. Uh, so they are P units apart, so 36 over 5 minus 7 is 1 fifth, so P is 1 fifth. Uh, if I need it, I could find the focus now. So the focus is going to be P units in this direction, so if I add, uh, subtract 1 fifth from 7, that's going to take me to uh, 4 comma 34 over 5, but I don't actually need that to write this equation. Uh, so the equation in general is going to be the negative 1 over 4p quantity x minus h squared plus k. Um, I know hk is 4, 7, and I know that p is uh, 1 fifth, so I'm going to plug in what I know, like this, and then simplify a little bit. Uh, but no one in their right mind would leave 1 over 4 fifths, so I'm going to simplify that to get uh, negative 5 fourths to quantity x minus 4 squared plus 7. So that's the equation of this parabola. Um, so I think there are really uh, just two key things that you really need. Uh, one of them is kind of a lot, but it's really crucial. You have to remember what everything is. So uh, when you're going into a parabola problem, you have to know what a focus, vertex, directrix, and p are. You have to know all four of those things or you're just not going to be successful. Um, and then after that, make sure you're sketching things. Uh, I notice some people are hesitant to sketch. I don't really know why, because it's kind of the key to getting everything right. Um, so you might make this sketch, or you might make this sketch, depending on which way it's going to open. But either way, uh, I hope you found this helpful, and good luck.